how to make YouTube Shorts. Shorts are YouTube's brand new answer to Instagram Reels or TikTok. Short, snappy videos under 60 seconds long geared towards mobile creators, which is becoming a great way to grow your audience on YouTube. At the moment, everybody can view YouTube Shorts via the mobile app, but the creator tools are only available to certain countries and regions. If you have access, you can open up the YouTube app on your phone, hit the Create icon at the bottom of the screen, and select Create Short, and that will open up all of your recording and editing tools. But for those of you that don't have access just like me, you can still create amazing YouTube Shorts videos using another online video editor. First things first, open up your internet browser and head over to veed.io. If you don't have an account, you can create one for free, and I've left a link to veed in the video description. Once you're set up on the homepage, select upload your video, then upload a file. Now select your video clip from your computer and hit open. And once it's uploaded, you'll see your clip sitting down in the video timeline. Now, as you can see, my video is in the usual shape for a normal YouTube video, but I wanna change it into that vertical shape, which is the same as an Instagram story or a TikTok. To change the size, just go over to the project settings over on the left hand side and in the drop down menu under size, scroll through the options and find story or TikTok. And as you can see, if you select one, it will automatically change the shape of the video canvas. Now I want to fill the frame with my whole video so there's no black bars on the top and bottom. And to do this, I'm just going to select the video on the canvas and then under transformations on the left hand side, I'm just going to select fill the canvas. And if you want to add some more clips into a sequence, just go down to the video timeline and select the plus icon on the right hand side. And from here, you can select another file from your computer and it will be automatically added to your timeline. One thing to bear in mind is that YouTube shorts have to be under 60 seconds long. So if you're adding clips to the timeline and you're finding your sequence is running over that limit, just go down to the video timeline, select your clips like so, and just click and drag the ends of the clip to change the duration. Another way to change the duration is to adjust the video speed. To speed up or slow down your video, make sure your clip is selected once again, then go back over to the left hand side where you'll see some options under speed. And by selecting 0.5, you'll slow down your video by 50%. And by selecting the other options like 1.5 or 2, you'll speed up your video. Now let's add some music. First of all, back in the edit video window, I'm gonna make sure that there's no audio on the clip already. And to do that, I'm just gonna go to audio, and select the speaker, which will mute the clip straight away. Now to add some music, just go up to the Upload tab on the left-hand side, then select Upload Audio, and then you can select any music track that you've downloaded to your computer and hit Open. And as you can see, the track has been added on top of my video in the timeline. For YouTube videos, you should always make sure that you're using copyright-free music. This will stop YouTube from giving you a copyright strike or removing your video completely. If you're looking for some royalty-free music libraries, I've left a few resources in the video description. Now, as you can see, the track is currently running way too long, so I'm just gonna drag it down in the timeline just like we did with the video clip earlier. And then I'll select Fit Timeline so we can see our clip and audio a little clearer. Next, I'm gonna add some text to my video. Just go over to text over on the left hand side and this will open up all of the text presets. If you click on one, a text box will be automatically dropped on top of your video and then over on the left hand side, you can type in what you want your text to say, like so. And underneath, you can choose from a selection of fonts. You can change the size of your text. You can change the color. And by going to more options up here and finding this drop down menu, you can add a background to your text just like you'll see on TikTok and you can change the color of that backdrop like so. Over on the video canvas, I can move around my text box like this and place it wherever I want to see it within the frame. And I can also adjust the size and the angle of the text just by clicking and dragging the text box like so and using this circle above it to change the angle. And you can change the timings for when your text appears on screen just by going down to the video timeline once again, selecting your text box and clicking and dragging the ends of it like so. You can add as many text layers as you want just by going over to the left hand side and selecting add new text. You can also add some nice filters to your video by going over to the left hand side and selecting filters. And in this first menu, you have some options for some color grading looks. And in this second menu, you have all sorts of different effects such as a VHS look or this cool filmic look which gives it a nice retro flavor. And now if I play the video back, you'll see that all of my edits have been applied to my video. When you're done editing, just go to the top right hand corner of the screen and select export and then export video and the editing software will now render out your final file. 
On this next page, you can review your video one more time by pressing play. And if you're happy, just go over to the right hand side and select download MP4, which downloads your final video to your computer. And now we're ready to upload this to YouTube. Log into YouTube and select the camera icon in the top right corner. Then select upload video. Now you can pretty much upload your video as normal by selecting it from your computer and hitting open. Fill out your title, your description and your tags, but just make sure that you add hashtag shorts in either the title or the description box, which just lets YouTube know where you want to display your video. And then you can just publish your video as normal and you'll see your clip appear on your channel as a YouTube short. And that is how to create YouTube shorts using Veed's online video editor. If you found this video useful, make sure you leave it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel and I'll see you guys in the next one.